Katrina always puts people first, never herself. She's completely selfless. She was amazing on legs and she's phenomenal in a chair. She makes people feel comfortable around her when she's the one with the disability. She doesn't see it and she doesn't want other people to see it. What she could have achieved in equestrian could have been anything. Um, she's achieved just as much or more since she had the accident, in my view. I was lucky enough to compete around the world in both show jumping and eventing, and that was always my dream, to represent New Zealand. I broke my neck falling off a horse uh, 11 years ago, and so things changed. When she had her accident, a lot of people said that they would uh, you know, run raffles and, and fundraise for her, and she said, no, I'll be okay. All this money that you may raise, we'll put it to looking at, at ways and means of, of healing spinal injuries. My personal dream is to dance with my husband again on my feet. But that's going to take a whole lot more than wishing. So we need to raise as much money as we can and put it in the best possible direction. And we need to work with the people doing this around the world, and that's Catwalk's goal. Currently, in excess of three and a half million has been raised through Katrina's work. There are two sources of funding that we've been fortunate to receive from the Catwalk Trust. One is a very large grant, which has allowed us to set up the Spinal Cord Injury Research Facility. And the other source of funding is to support project grants to actually undertake the research. We're supporting something that's got worldwide momentum, and it really will make a difference. I would love it to happen in my lifetime, but if not, the exciting things that are happening, I absolutely believe, will make a difference to the kids of today. She's ambitious and, and, and incredibly strong-willed. I mean, I remember when she first decided that she would uh, go into the New York Marathon in her wheelchair, and it took her something like an hour to get to the road and back, and went in the New York Marathon um, some years later. And what she's achieved in the Himalayas is, is, is just amazing. I mean, you've got to have incredible willpower and an incredible strength and courage to do those sort of things, and I admire for that. Life is about living. It's not about feeling sorry for yourself. And as much as there's a lot of things you can't do, there's a whole heap of things you can do. I think she's the most inspirational person. I think she is so humbling and so generous with what she gives to everybody.